Poland can into Lithuania. At the very least, that's what I'm hoping to do here. We're starting off in Poland. Now, normally I don't like to play in this continent just because we don't have a whole lot of options in terms of who to invade. But luckily, we are right on next to Belarus. I actually feel like it's really unlikely we're going to get Lithuania just because they're in NATO, just like me. So starting things off, I'm 21st in the world in terms of GDP, and we have a good amount of defense power. Our target has to be Belarus and then eventually Russia. That's really the only route we can go. I mean, we can try to get some power down here in Africa, but it's just, I don't know. That's probably not going to be the overall move here. Now, luckily, Belarus doesn't have a whole lot going on here in terms of military power. We as Poland have a lot more. But yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of gunners since we have none of those. And I definitely don't want to mess around with ideology changes because I'm already in a very nice alliance that should keep us safe. So no returns to a communist Poland, I'm sorry, or fascist or whatever. We just don't want to mess around with that stuff yet. We need to hope that Russia gets themselves into just a stupid place. Like maybe they invade China or something or India. Yeah, like I said, this is really our only way as Poland to really have a chance of getting big. Obviously, Ukraine starts off the game with a war against Russia. U.S. declaring a ton of wars in the very beginning while they're literally going after like everything in Latin America. Moving troops around, but uh, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Every game of Dummy Nation has a different like big power that is overly aggressive so i'm hoping you know i don't know i'm hoping russia is going to be one of those but it could be china it could be india obviously america is going to be on the list because they have their entire military just attacking people right now they just declared war on guyana up here we also have germany looking like they could be attacking i don't really know where these german forces are going now, i've had some really good times in this game and also some really bad like i've lost in like 30 minutes it just all depends on how the world is mexico's just declared war on cuba where do they immediately take this over wow they immediately wow how they do that so fast. Right, so our army is looking a lot better off than it was. I'm going to recruit another 175,000 because why not? We'll get some commandos in there too. I just want bodies ready for the front line. It's time for Poland to take their revenge. Ooh, okay, that's Slovenia. I thought that was the Russian. Oh, uh, no. Can someone explain to me why the little nation of Slovenia is attacking like three or four different places? Five different places? What happened? Italy and Lithuania just improved their diplomatic relationship. That's my friend, Italy. Slowly, the entire coast of Africa is being eaten up. Ooh, interesting. Japan just declared war on Russia. Okay, so let's hope they actually drop troops. They might not. India is also making some moves. I'm liking this, like, kind of change of pace for me. Normally in Dummy Nation, I get myself in way too many wars way too fast, and that's what kills me. We're kind of able to just kind of sit back, see what the world does. I'm kind of forced to do that because I'm smashed in Europe. Kosovo has just been defeated by who, none other than Serbia. Surprise, surprise. Russia is currently invading Georgia, and Japan is not landing in Siberia just yet. If we can just get, like, most of the Europeans to go to war with... Okay, well, Russia, they just officially... Oh, I think the notification is like slow. Spain going after Tonga. If we just wait for NATO to go after Russia, then that makes it way easier because I'm leading the front lines. Okay, so Russia instantly uh, just demolished Georgia. I feel like it's cool just to sit here and build and build. And I mean, we can just build up our armies for as much as possible. Wait till we max out. Eventually, we will max out and we'll be forced to go to war, though. There is a big one. India versus Pakistan. Oh, wow. And China might get involved. Dang, this war is getting crazy. This world is getting crazy. Saudi Arabia now going after Iran. Now, I could possibly provide some aid, but that's really not what I want to do here. Russia's going after Nauru for whatever reason. So Greece has declared war on China. Okay, if China starts to get everyone to declare war on them, then I will go after that because I have to if it's China. That's going to suck sending my troops halfway across the world to go after China. But oh yeah, a lot of uh, Europe is after them. France, Italy, Greece, Bulgaria, the UK. Now Russia's going after Turkmenistan in Central Asia. Thailand has just declared war on India. For anyone that doesn't have any troops, I mean, Pakistan pretty much has nothing, but I'm not going to go to Pakistan. That's no, I'm not going all the way over there. I could easily get to Saudi Arabia. We don't want to declare war on the Arab League, though. We have South Korea going after India. Just chilling. We're just chilling. Nobody can be too mad at us, I think, because, you know, we're not doing anything, really. All these American forces moving across the way. Oh, well, well, I don't even know what the hell they're doing. What are you doing? Now, Russia's going... Why are German troops... A lot? No, 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 no. Ger Germany, no. Let's not... Again, okay, I think they're just stationed in Berlin. Uh, I don't know if I can even trust that, though. Not with their track record. Oh, good. So, Russia is at war with several... Well, a couple of the NATO nations, one being Italy, so that's that's a start. Oh, we do have India with... Okay, they lost everything. I think we have to go. I think we have to go, especially... Okay, now can we just move across... Like, how, how could this work? Can I... Oh, that's not good. Country has no land or sea border with this... I mean, technically, we have a sea border in a way. Man, we are screwed. So I can't even get a lot of this stuff even if I really wanted. I'm gonna give it, like, maybe another year. Uh, Russia's at, in war... Uh, in lots of wars with so many people right now. Oh, with the USA, too. Holy crap, the USA is at war 
war with pretty much everyone in the Eastern Hemisphere except for Europe and their normal allies. Yeah, another year, and I'm just gonna go after Belarus because I mean, there's nothing. I have to do something. Oh crap! China's taking over all of India. That is not good. This game started in just complete. Ca Look at how much America is picking up in Africa. That's insane. Finland and Brazil weirdly signed an alliance. Uh, is Finland at war technically? Oh yeah. Okay, we. Only me. See, I just don't want. Okay, Russia did lose a hundred thousand men. Do I have my guys up? I can get a hundred thousand more, just regular troops. I think it's time to move in after Belarus. Even though, wait, are you allied to Austria? Austria better not be allied to you. I think we have to do this. I mean, I don't really know what else to do. We literally can't. Oh wow, we got there way faster than I thought. But let's see if anyone decides to come help us out at all. We should be able to handle these troops very easily. Of course, Russia declared war on us because they they need to. Bam! That was so fast. Wow, that was so nice and easy. I did lose a lot of troops, but. A lot of them are, I mean, not a lot, but maybe a hundred thousand. Now, Russia's definitely going to start sending forces over once I take Kaliningrad, but we kind of have to do that. So, I'm going to take this really nice and fast, hopefully. Okay, bam, that was easy. Technically, we have similarly, I think it's similarly sized forces. Oh, no, they have 10,000 tanks. Wow, no. They have weight. Okay, but they're at war with a lot of nations right now, so I'm thinking this really shouldn't bother them too much. They're literally at war with, like, the entire freaking world. A lot in, like, the world, too. Like, in Africa. Sorry, the world. Yeah, I said that. In, like, everywhere. Once, every continent. Okay, uh, before I enter into mainland Russia, I think I want to wait for these guys to get out. We also should be able to recruit a bit more. Okay, don't do not do that. Don't do that. No, thank you. Okay. I hope these domination videos are entertaining for you guys because I don't know if I'm going to lose instantly or like win almost the entire game. So if I don't know, I mean, certainly you guys can't know. I think that keeps everyone on their toes. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be a 30 minute video or a two minute one. I think I just need to wait a little bit long. We need to integrate some of this land. Obviously, Belarus is not providing that much extra population, and economically, they're I mean, it's something, but it's not a whole lot either. We want to get to Moscow, though. If we can get to Moscow, we can change everything around for Poland. I'm going to sit here for a little bit before we attack. A lot of Russian troops. I don't know how many, but they do have a lot just stationed here in Central Asia. They have to be destroyed. Does Russia have 27... Oh my goodness. I just have to make sure I'm reading that right. What the hell happened to all this stuff? Okay, uh, I think we have to enter. I think we have to go right now. All right. Well, uh, do we know when these guys are coming out? We can only recruit 10, 12,000 commandos. Okay, I'm just going to take this very slowly. I think we have to go. What did? Was I reading it wrong? Did they rebuild? Did I have the wrong person? I don't know. It, it looked like before it wasn't... <sighs> Do I do this and retreat back or... Okay, hold on. Just just chill. Just chill. Just chill. I don't know who I had selected, but I thought that said 27,000. Their 10,000 tanks really freaks me out. China has declared war in Tanzania. Uh, Ch China is really distracted by India. Pakistan actually has a chance of taking over all of India. There's got to be Russian forces. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of Russian forces here in Africa. I think it's possible that the U.S. starts... Oh, yeah. Engage. Engage with the, with the Russians. This might be... I don't really even know. They're both attacking Tanzania. Okay, now Russia's retreating. How big is that for? We might be okay to enter into Russian territory because I don't know how much. See, see, look, they do have. What the heck is going on? So they're recruiting things. I think if we were to enter, they recruit things so fast. I'm going to go ahead and just see Roy Jenkins this very soon. But I also want to see if I can get more than 14,000. Wow, we really did just cap off our military. I think we're going to give it a shot. Let's just give it a shot. Let's slowly take things over and kind of see what happens. Oh boy. Okay, so what is this? We can handle that. I don't know if we want to handle that. Why don't we just stay there? What, what if we just stay there? Will he engage with us? He does does want to engage. Okay, I think we have to fight this guy. We will be able to handle it, but I don't like how many troops I'm going to lose at the same time. Okay, well, if we just sit here, holy crap. Can we get to Moscow? What's That's like literally the most doomed statement ever. The Swedish said it, the French said it, the Germans said it. Can we just get to Moscow? And this is how we freeze to death. Okay, what is that now? That is also a force that we can handle. If we, I mean, we're taking things still just by sitting here, I guess we might as well fight them. Also, this is good. They're sending little things at us, which is slowly going to degrade their armies, and that might have more power come help me. Yeah, we really just want that. Okay, what is that? Okay, that's their big one. Well, that's 58,000. If we continue, I mean, we're going to continue to win these if they keep sending small stuff at us. Okay, I don't want them to start grouping their armies together, though. That would be the problem. Crap. Okay, that's a big one. That's not a big one. That's not a big one. See, look, Russia's down to 28,000, 25,000. We will have to fight some Russian peasants. And okay, now they're retreating. How much do we still have? We don't have exactly what I want right now. We can get 40,000 troops here. Uh, that's pretty much all we got. We really don't got anything else. Can we get some help? Oh, I don't actually don't want to, I don't want to retreat back yet. Yeah, they're going to, they're going to not have a good time if they keep trying to fight us like that. Okay, so here's 7,000 peasants. Here's 12,000. I just want Moscow and then I'll leave you alone to be quite honest. If we can just take that, at least we won't have to worry about them recruiting troops really close by. That's what I want. I want that. Take that. Let's go. Bam. Okay. So we got their capital. That's huge. Also, Estonia is helping us out. Okay. That's big. Russia's down to a hundred thousand troops. I have 
double that and wait what are their tanks at though my tanks have really fallen apart and yeah 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 go go after them go after them please there we go at least someone could do something what is that are these more peasants if it's just peasants that's okay i'm gonna sit there and just see what go i'm thinking russia does a bunch of things in africa and i'm hoping the u.s can pick off those troops oh man oh man okay okay we're doing good still we're still expanding and we have some backup forces here let's get these guys together we have the russian reserves to pull from we don't have any russian reserves just yet we might have to go fight these hundred thousand peasants i don't want to do that though that is going to be gross that's going to be gross i think i have to oh crap peasant revolts happening all over russia oh crap these aren't too too big okay they're pretty small don't don't pull back estonia don't pull back oh man i just don't love a lot of things here we have to kill some of these peasants okay i think i see a military coming in too for russia i don't mind backing up doing some drive-bys okay what are, what are you doing russia still has a hundred thousand troops this is only three thousand down here we should be able to clean this up pretty easily russia's just straight up invading estonia or are they trying to move through what exactly is happening i'm a little scared because russia definitely can still destroy me i don't really want to engage anymore if i can help it if i've not made that obvious enough by now Nineteen thousand troops i guess we'll go with that i'm down to chill guys i'm down to chill if you guys are down to chill estonia go kill the rest of the russians please 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 i don't even mind if russia takes over estonia because i'll just take that from them yeah they're really going in hard okay does anyone else declared any new wars on russia because that would be nice they're i mean <laughs> pretty much everyone has already declared so i don't really know who else can join in i mean everyone's angry the germans haven't joined in either have the french or the uk as i mean there's still more people that would be nice india has not fallen yet but the japanese are attacking the indian coastline i have jumped to 17th place from all the new land that i've just taken we do need to be sure that we are the ones that take over all of russia we need to be the ones that does that okay we could probably handle that for us if we need to but luckily the nordics are coming okay good 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 interesting they're trying to do drive-bys on estonia but sweden is protecting estonia okay we have to probably stop this how much is this Thirty-six thousand. i mean it's something let's fire at these guys and make sure that the russians don't take well the russians might not be wanting to engage with the russians lose everything it looks like they're just showing peasants right now but i don't know what i can trust anymore i guess i'll give it a shot we're back over 300,000 gunners so that's big i guess we'll engage the peasants will be kind of the problem luckily that wasn't too big of a peasant uprising there was a hunt oh okay i wonder if everyone's coming what is that what is that we can fight that i don't want to fight that but we can fight that they're looking like they don't want any of us so that's good they really don't where is ukraine at where the hell is ukraine oof these peasants oh that's 74,000. that's a lot of them probably need more projectile uh, units thinking maybe some more gunners how many more can we recruit 20,000? okay i mean we're getting up there we are getting up there for our polish empire i don't know why i started this video off by saying i want to reunite with lithuania that was gonna be the hardest thing to do really because of they're in my alliance like why would i do that okay we have a really strong grasp over russia now um where's the rest of the good stuff there's still good juicy population i mean there's also great resources down here north of the caucus where's stalingrad i mean that's usually not something you should be attacked if i'm a skinny mustache man from austria if i keep pushing in i wonder if the russians will just keep running or will they eventually okay maybe not okay that's the, okay we don't want to engage with that i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good i don't want to engage that maybe we don't have a choice maybe we don't have a choice we've got a lot compared to they have a little bit less i don't really want to fight that I and mean, we can try but i don't like this at all they're gonna make us pay they're gonna make us pay big time okay we have reinforcements i think this might be their kamikaze honestly or maybe not maybe i should back up just so that if i do have a chance of getting away then at least we can get away crap they're chasing me oh crap oh crap where are my homies at okay good 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 they are running away oh my goodness okay yeah they were starting to win that we took some things but we didn't take a lot yeah ukraine what the freak are you doing ukraine you're literally flipping me out okay good they're, they split off okay okay we're chill we're chill i don't want everyone to take this stuff from us though man that hurt that really hurt okay i'm gonna try to recruit that stuff back guess that's good for now i mean we're lucky they're not continuing to attack us crane seriously okay good 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 this is good i am not helping you guys at all because you guys didn't help us at all is romania also involved in this war they are okay and turkey but i don't know what turkey's doing so we might see the ai completely uh stack wipe basically russia and that it means that we can all pounce on them if that's the case i'm gonna go ahead and move these guys back oh yes i think the europeans have been mobilized it's over it is over okay we need to take this stuff for ourselves what okay before i even press play we need to make sure that we get what we want we led this war they let us lose a bunch of our troops i want this stuff 
stuff down here and then everything we don't want the arctics i i kind of just want okay i'm gonna split my forces up if i can i don't want to do it too soon oh they basically lost everything i'm gonna take a big chance here and just shoot my guys like all around i don't know where the russians are running but we're gonna just take a big chance because everyone's rushing in after the russians obviously holy crap the problem north korea's declared war on poland uh oh yeah the problem is we don't have a whole we need to make sure that we keep recruiting dudes fast and the problem with splitting up my troops oh yeah the peasants are gonna kill us they're gonna have a good time they might we might have problems with these peasants i think we have to do it though i think we have to take this stuff okay we did we did kill some peasants this is so risky this is very risky i think i see the remaining troops that they have which looks like it's only eight thousand for now i'm glad that we're doing this i guess we'll send this fifty thousand unit to fight like anything else oh this is these are peasants these are a hundred thousand peasants holy crap pans declare war on new zealand that's something i did not expect yeah we're losing oh man what is that i think we should maybe halt this in like a second or two months or something like that we're winning these we're down to we still have a hundred thousand i don't know why we can't we're not, like our military is not that great we're having trouble getting up faster Mil increases offensive capabilities i like that maybe we can do more of that i don't care about defensive capabilities maybe something like that and opening up some of these other options i don't think i want jet fighters just yet national guard i'm not really worried about this okay ten thousand commandos we just need to keep building stuff honestly because that's what that's what i fear i feel like we're gonna get completely wiped out i'm gonna let us get the stuff that i really want i'm gonna connect these guys together make sure we take out some peasants these are some big peasant revolts oh man what is that uh, that's nothing too much to that's nothing to worry about that's nothing to worry about okay we're okay why is this game so stressful i just don't know what the ai is going to do because i know they can kill me if they want and they have several times if you watched all my dummy nation videos china and brazil have strengthened their relations okay i like that we're keeping these guys together we split up enough where now the europeans probably won't just jack a bunch of our stuff now are there supply lines and things like that i never really investigated that stuff but these peasants should just like drown did they just drown like that i think they might have just done that because we just took all their stuff. Okay, they have no troops. That's good. 22,000 gunners. There we go. That's good. Combine these and get all this. I just hope that... I think, okay, the good thing about the way that Russia's population density is, it's almost all in the West. So this stuff should be easier and easier to get. Do we want to get this part of Central Asia? I mean, I guess we probably should, but what is this? With 8,000, can we do that? Are there going to be peasants that rise for Russia in Central Asia? Uh, you know, a conquered territory. This is not their cord lands. Or is it because of the Soviet Union? I guess you could argue it could be. I don't know if this game takes that into account. We have 44,000 here, 61,000 there. I'm sending a very small force here of 8,000. I do have a bunch of gunners that just popped up. We'll take the North with those guys i just want bodies i just want boots on the ground boots on the ground i'm not really worried about tanks or anything like that we will rebuild after i think i hope i don't know we're not at war with china yet we are at war with north korea and actually that could be a problem because no one's taking out north korea is okay this is 77,000 peasants russia still has only peasants how easy is it to kill civilians i mean i can imagine but <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm referring to the game let's just go take out these guys please seems pretty simple let's clean up back there i'm noticing that the revolts are only really happening here in the north uh, what are you guys doing? Stay away from my borders. I can get 90 tanks. I'm not really sure if the tanks are going to do that much, but I, I guess we'll see. I mean, I just want some sort of force. Luckily, we're getting these things out fast. I mean, that's the good thing about the mechanized stuff. You can get them out really quick. I mean, 10 rocket artillery. Why not? Okay, I'm going to actually build a division back here. Let's actually build like a little division. Wow, we only have 90 tanks and then 4K boots on the ground. That's probably not a good combination. This is the island that they nuked, the Tsar Bomba, I believe. I think this is where they dropped the Tsar Bomba. I don't know why we want this radiated, you know, coal bait, but maybe we can figure out something to do with it later uh, how are we doing it okay that was my fear that was my fear let's get out of there uh that's too late okay well if that's all they want to do just protect central asia from us that's fine i don't care i don't mind too much i just i'm worried about the north koreans popping up over this way oh the japan i was gonna say where are the japanese at my allies in asia need to fix the north korean problem because that's not my job holy crap america it is literally just america that's taking over over all this stuff jeez where have i popped to as poland i'm now in 11th place so I'm feeling good about that. 30,000 commandos. Okay. I kind of want to keep you guys together from now on. I mean, we really don't need these. These islands are the most worthless things, but whatever. Sorry, I really shouldn't say that. I didn't mean that. You know what? Just just come down here and make sure. Yeah, just get, stop engaging with that. Really worried the North Koreans are going to pop up here. Okay, that looks way better. That does look better. Where did we get nine? No, that's... That, oh, we have overall 200 tanks. Okay, that's where the division is, though. And we just get like 100,000 or some more gunners. Just a nice, solid division. Something where the 
The Koreans won't be messing with us too much. I don't know if I like these guys going so deep in there like that. That could be a problem, but we are already taking that stuff. Okay, there they are. Can 20? Okay, we should be able to handle that small force. Please, please. Okay, we did take them out. Okay, the Koreans are down to 85,000. I, I mean, I would think they got to be engaging more with the Japanese than me, but I don't know really where they're at. That's the issue. Okay, well, we're taking this stuff out. These guys are trapped. By the time we actually have a nice solid division back here, I think the new divisions, those divisions attacking uh, Russia, will be pretty much depleted. Now, what's Germany doing? Germany, France, they're like not really doing anything. Well, they are at war with Russia and China, but they're not really doing anything. Oh, well, maybe it's because there's riots in the streets of Germany. That possibly could be it, Drew. I could also pull back. Like, we don't necessarily need much more than this. We kind of have all of Russia's like real big power. What is that? 30,000 gunners. We have a lot of Russia's like major power, at least economically and population wise. We can stop. We could stop. I don't know if I want to. I think I might get a little greedy. Are you, are you uh, engaging with that? Okay, well, we took them over anyways. Yeah, it's just the Koreans that are really sending stuff. And what is that? Make sure you come help out your homie right here. Okay, they did. Wait, did, they, did those units combine or did they actually take us out? I think they might have actually effectively took us out there. Okay, I think I'll stop. Or or at least I won't engage more. We'll stop there for now. Ooh, once we get that 42,000 out, okay, maybe I'll do... I would like Central Asia, I will admit. I don't know why. I don't really need that. North Korea is down to basically nothing. We could keep engaging, but their population... Population is killing me. Ireland has signed an alliance with Brazil. Is, is Germany going to try to steal Central Asia from me? I'm going to I'm gonna send this force. I'm not going to wait till the 42,000 come out. North Korea has declared war in Belgium. I guess that's fine. People are still going after India. India has rebuilt a little bit while Pakistan wasn't able to get anything out of the collapse of India. Argentina is going to give it a shot. That's hilarious. I would love to see Argentina take over India just because that would be so random. Okay, I'm glad that we're recruiting better and better. I was messing around with my military research stuff to be able to train troops faster. Aust okay, Germany's declaring war. Germany's gone demon mode, which is just Germany being Germany. But for some reason, they're going after NATO countries, which is really concerning because, uh, yeah. What does Germany have? Holy crap, if they want, they can kill us. All right, well, we, okay, I'm probably not going to move those troops out of, <laughs> out of Warsaw. We probably Probably need to stop fighting with Russia at some point here. There's a lot. Okay, so let's hopefully take all this really quick. Hopefully there's no more Koreans. Nicaragua has declared war in Mexico. Mexico's trying to expand in Central America a little bit. I am really surprised by this Germany. Are you... How do I figure out if they're like a communist nation? Did you like turn? Is that what, what's going on? Is that why you pulled out of NATO or something? What else did Russia have? Russia does have stuff down here in Africa that I could try to steal away, which I think Germany might be going after that stuff. Oh, crap. Okay, so yeah, the British are trying to... I don't want to get cut off here. What is this? Okay, I guess we'll continue to engage at least in the south. Or I will engage up there because we can cut them off a little bit. Yeah, the AI will probably stop. Let's at least just get this. I don't mind not getting missing out on the Arctic. We don't need that stuff. Everyone's declaring war in Brazil. The problem is, oh, is that why? I wonder if that's why Germany... There's a bunch of people in Europe that was allying to Brazil. So I'm wondering if that's part of the reason why NATO broke up a little bit. I mean, I don't know what happened. Okay, there we go. We can now recruit 100,000 troops. We just needed really, like, time. So now we'll be a lot better off. We probably need some tanks too. We need tanks to detour Germany because Germany will kill us. Okay, that's not good. It's 500 tanks. Oh, they already hurt us pretty bad. If I just retreat, then I think they will leave us alone. Oh, crap. Let me just take this. Once I take this, they might just stop. Run, 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 run. Just leave us alone, bro. Good thing is we're a small force, so we can run really fast. Oh, they, that's, okay, they're gonna try to get that stuff back. Okay, everyone's trying to kill Russia now. Again, I've taken pretty much the stuff that I wanted. Uh, hey, what is that? Oh, are these Polish peasants? Okay, so Russia still has nothing. Okay, yes, please Please, please just go away. I don't want to have to fight that. Okay, good. They are kind of going away. Russia's got some peasants here. Don't, you know what? I might just call this. I'm kind of freaked out by all the movement that's happening. Like, why are all the Europeans moving around so much? Or shall I murder 100,000 civilians? Why not? Oh, but with the aid of the Koreans. Okay, never mind. You can have that. You can have that. All right, never mind. We're running. We're running. Yeah, I don't want to fight the 100,000 Russian civilians with 500 Korean tanks. That would not be fun. I'm going to group these guys up and finally see what we actually got going on. Let's see how scary threatening. We did get our 100,000. Um, oh, yeah. Now we have 68,000 gunners coming. Yeah, let's get all this. There are Polish peasants. Wow, so people are already rising up for Poland. These are Russian citizens, technically, that believe that they are Polish now. That's cool. That's 200,000. We can definitely take on this. We should fight them while we have peasants uh, revolting for us like that. Let's go defend our Russian Poles. Oh, wow. They killed them. Okay. Well, never mind then. Okay, so uh, Germany has Anschluss Austria. Always bad news when that happens. Whenever Germany and Austria are on the same side. Uh, okay. How many tanks can we get up? 150. That's something, at least. I mean, I'll take 30 rocket artillery, too. The map hasn't changed much more than that so far. We are now currently in 8th place. We have cracked the top 10, which is huge. Are you gonna, are you gonna shoot these guys, or what's going on with that? Let me just 
prove my theory that once we... Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure, like, the peasants can't survive if we overrun them like that. I think this is like a Hoi 4 thing or something. Wow, Spain got a lot of this stuff. I wouldn't mind if the British at least help us out a little bit back here. We've got more troops coming. Okay, 80,000. Oh, the Germans are attacking Siberia. Okay, that, that's fine. Oh, maybe the U.S. as well. They did. Okay, so Russia might potentially die now. Russia's got pretty much nothing left. No more colonies, that is, at least like in Africa. North Korea's declared war on the U.S. That's good news. Maybe the Americans will finally go over there and kill them. Can I attack India now with all my new coastal territory? Is this enough to... Yeah, that's a pretty good force. I'm going to send these guys to the front lines. Let's get you all over there. United States has declared war on Germany. That's very interesting. That is extremely interesting. Okay, so we've had... A, the whole West is just broken down, kind of. Or Germany's just gone demon mode. I don't know which one it is. Your job is going to clean up this. I'm going to keep recruiting dudes. Just random raw dudes. That's not the greatest adjective to use there, Drew. But okay, Lake Baikal. I'll take that. Let's not get overrun. Let's not get our uh, territory broken up. Lake Baikal, I will take that. Did the U.S. start taking German lands from Russia? German-Russian land? I don't know. Someone's got to limit Germany's power. Of course, I'm worried about the U.S., but I'm hoping the U.S. doesn't get too pissed at us for taking all this stuff. Here, go kill these people. Nice. Okay, cool. That was easy. Unexpected heat waves hitting Canada. That's fine. I think we have a good amount of troops back at home. Pretty good. Okay, we got 100,000. We have the opportunity to finally eliminate Russia from the game, I think. Uh, they do have a small spot in Africa, though. Maybe someone else can cover that. I think now we can probably split our forces up. I don't know how many Russia, or sorry, the Koreans only have a thousand tanks left. All right, let's go ahead and just start throwing everyone everywhere. Let's finish this. Oh, crap. There are the Koreans. It's only 200 tanks. Okay, good. We eliminated them real fast. I mean, they have no support, so I don't know if I have a thick enough division, thick enough divisions to be able to send everything out, like split everything up like I, I'm hoping. Let's get more commandos. Let me get more tanks, because I don't like, I mean, I know the AI is just sitting their troops in Berlin. That makes sense, but I don't like it. As Poland, ordering Germany, I really don't like that. What the hell? I thought, I don't know what was going on. 170 tanks there. They're kind of running away. China's declared war in South Korea, so things are getting chaotic now. I do technically now have a border with China, which is really good. So if China falls, I mean, that could be bad too, because China could go after me, which they could totally destroy me. Spain's declared war in Mexico. I think my alliances are keeping me safe for now. I should not have said that, because I'm sure that just jinxed everything. 170 tanks. I'll get that. France has declared war in Mexico. What year is it? Okay, see, this is where the US AI might get upset. Us kind of meeting here, because they might want wanted more. They might have wanted more. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go, but at least we have contact with Manchuria. Okay, well, you better clean up Russia. Don't just sit there and do nothing. I want to end this war. Luckily, my guys should just randomly go out and clean up the rest. Yeah, just go get the islands and all that stuff. I'm just gonna assume that those all those divisions are gonna die. Let's go back here. Okay, that's really nice. Let's get like 350 rocket artillery. That's cool. These guys are gonna come out really fast. Yeah, they already came out. AI loves to send my divisions out in like the worst spots and get them killed. That's why I'm assuming that everyone's going to die. Now, what we need is Poland is we probably need like over a million men, which I don't think is like out of the question. We have 200,000. I think it's definitely possible that we get there. My forces are done. They should just automatically meet back in Warsaw, I think. There's a couple more islands they need to get by the North Pole, but geez, everyone's going after Mexico. But the U.S. hasn't yet. All the EU is and a lot of South America. It's only a matter of time before the U.S. does that. The U.S. is still solidly ahead of China. I am still in eighth place. I did not get much power at all by getting Siberia, like I was saying. There's really not much to gain. I didn't mind like just stopping the war, but I was like, well, we might as well keep going. Okay, so this is going to be my big, big division. I mean, yeah, we just definitely need, I would say, more gunners and then as many new commandos as possible. Where are you going? Oh, did Russia have a part of, wow, Russia had a part of Indo-South China. I don't know where my troops are at, but that's okay. They're going to die. Mexico seems to be holding people off. I'm not sure if people are actually going in after Mexico. They are taking Cuba, though. I'm going to finally unlock some fighter jets. Finally, we can see what this does. Okay, I'll get like 50,000, or it's only 50 52. 52. 2,000 fighter jets would be a ridiculous amount. Now, if I were to go after Germany here, which we don't probably want to start thinking that yet, well, long term wise, that should definitely be our goal. They got so much money here. We need to keep in mind Germany is third in the world. So yeah, in order to actually win the game, we're going to need to take Germany. We do pretty much have what Germany wanted. We have all that manpower and resources that Russia provides. I mean, in World War II, China's declared war finally on North Korea. Well, what the heck? I thought North Korea united the peninsula. No, this is just all South Korea. I don't even know where North Korea is. We do need to be really careful of China. Now, if China collapses, that would be really nice. India might collapse. We don't really need India, to be quite honest. Real quick, I just want to do an experiment here. Am I allowed to attack India now? I can. I'm not going to. I'm not sure. Before, I think this was technically considered like a lake, but now I actually have access to the outside stuff. Uh, do I actually want to do this? That could really piss off uh, China. I don't think I'm going to do it. I think we're too weak. I'm not going to do it yet. You guys just go back. Wait till I get like over 100,000 men. Not 100,000. Wow. A quarter of a million. Okay, yeah, let's wait till we get those guys out. And then 320 tanks. Okay, we're going to really be 
be looking like a strong force soon. Yeah, let's get all that stuff, and then we'll start making some moves. Yeah, I don't think the move is to go after India. I think it's to go after Germany, and Germany's got, like, almost nothing right now. Is Germany getting wiped, stack wiped by, uh, the US, or what? Are we at war with anyone, technically? I mean, we're close to war with China. If I go after Germany, oh, I think it does pull in people. Yeah, it might pull in everyone. People haven't decided just yet. Okay, so we might have to go after India first. Oh, crap. Everyone's taking India, especially China. I think I want a little piece of this, to be honest. When do these guys get done? I'm gonna wait just for those guys to finish up. Yeah, we're getting stuff so fast. The AI should stop soon. Yeah, it's the peasants that we really gotta worry about. Man, China's gonna get all the power out of India. Okay, there we go. We got it. Okay, I think we're gonna go do this. Can I take that stuff that's like just deep into India, technically? Does that work? Because that's what I want. I want other people. I want like all this economic development here, which it's gonna get stolen away by China. That's not good. Oh yeah, we're going to coastline. We're not gonna be able to go straight in. Well, this is still gonna provide some things for us. Where are all the other Polish divisions? There's this. You guys go back here. Oh, okay. So these guys were just chilling. Oh, as, as Poland, we actually have almost a million troops. That's good. Oh, I didn't even know we landed. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing this. While you are on a vacation in Siberia, we might as well have you come down here. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not like that. You need to go up. Oh, wow. We're sending everything in Poland out this way. Okay. I guess that's fine. Every, I guess that's fine. We'll do that. We should be able to. We are getting massacred by a lot of uh, Indian peasants, but that's okay. We have to do it. Japan's declared war on Mexico. Did Delhi fall yet? Yeah, I think Delhi fall, fell to the Chinese. Oh, nice. Oh, good. It's been liberated. Okay, let's steal that away. Ah, oh, crap. The Chinese got it again. Yeah, this force is about... There's just so many people we're having to fight and kill. There's so many peasants. Okay, the reinforcements have arrived. What even is the... Oh, yeah, just get over here. 60,000 peasants. Okay, well, we're still getting some good stuff. We need to watch China. These troops are definitely struggling. Is this a big force? Yeah, that's a pretty big force. We're going to take this and go here. This too. Go there. And it's also going after Pakistan. Where is the third force at? Did, did you guys just get killed? What the heck happened? Yeah, we got so much wiped out right now. Okay, let's, let's get another quarter million men out. Peasants are no joke. This is why India doesn't fall. They lose their military, but no one wants to come and invade India. It's not fun. Okay, now, and we're immediately just got killed now. I don't think I have any troops. Well, I literally lost everything trying to... F okay, this is not good. This is very, very bad. Okay, we want to get some stuff out as soon as possible. Our alliance is keeping us safe, but oh my goodness. India is no joke. Get out, get out, get out. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, well, luckily, China's cleaning up some of those peasants for us. Dude, get out. What the... F get, get them out. I'm doing speed five, basically. I always play this game like a paradox game. Holy crap, why'd that take so long? I guess it was a quarter of a million men, but jeez. Yeah, okay, it's just me and China basically splitting these guys up. My alliance, I'm convinced, is really the thing that's keeping me safe. What? Am I getting blown up by, like, other... Oh, I'm at war with China. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, that makes more sense. And we're driving straight through... Oh. That's why you don't go speed five, I guess. Okay, well, we're not gonna do that anymore. That is not good. Luckily, China's not too scary. I could probably fight China, technically. Especially as China's continuing to degrade their forces right now. Man, all China China's power is in the coast. That's like the big issue. I don't know if I want to do this. Dang, a thousand tanks. Oh man, I, I'm loving this. All that beautiful Russian manpower and resources we're getting. This is sweet. Don't know what to do. Let's see. Iran is powerful. Yeah, we literally just sent them to the meat grinder. Okay, we might lose India. We have to just drop it, I think. We have to kind of just drop this. China's already back up to a million men. Vatican City's declared war on Germany. What's going on with Germany again? Oh, it's very small things. Okay, that looks okay. That looks okay. Oh yeah, what happened to my fighters? Let's get like 200 fighters and then like 400 rocket artillery. Yeah, this stuff comes out fast. I like that. We need more gunners. I don't really want to have to attack China because there's not much going on. Also, they're just so scary. Unless the U.S. starts just grinding them down. I'm holding on to some of this land, which is kind of funny. So India is pretty much dead. Dang, I'm losing all the good stuff. I want to have to move through. Can we move through people that we're not at war with, please? Can you like go this way? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just try to make sure that we don't lose everything. I think there is a way to send them directly through the ocean. They get to move a lot faster through the ocean. Luckily, these Indian peasants are still holding on. I just want to get that little heart, that heart of India. Let's see if we can get the... Oh, crap. China's here. Well, China's going to steal all this stuff from us. Uh, that's fine. Iraq has declared war on Poland. Oh, whoops. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, we're already at war with pretty much everybody. Well, Somalia has nothing, too. Okay, well, I guess I will take that. <laughs> that's weird. Why did that happen? Oh, crap. What even is this? How much are we fighting? We can probably afford to fight this. Let's just go kill... These guys right here, bam. Okay, well, I'll take a Polish African colony. I mean, why not? You don't gotta tell me twice. Okay, so what even is this? That force was is kind of weakened, to say the least. Okay, I'll get a quarter of a million troops back at home. I mean, I might as well go with the original plan now. <laughs> a little side quest, but that's cool. What what is that? How big is that? I could snipe this uh this Chinese force if I wanted to. That might oh, they're backing up. Nice. Bam. Yeah, let me take all this. Okay, okay. And we kill India, please. What the heck? How it's because, yeah, we're pretty weak right now. We might we might need to run away. Away. I think India's dead. India's been defeated. Let's go. Okay, let's just just run. <laughs> just get the hell out of there. Okay. Cool. Now, who did I 
accidentally become at war with. I mean, China, uh, did we get these troops out? We did not get these troops out. Yeah, do that. They're come this way. We could attempt to steal some of this stuff away from China, but they're probably going to kill me for that. I don't even know if China's distract. Ooh, China's got zero infantry. I'm not going to do it, though. I think that's a bad idea. Yeah, just make sure that these forces move through uh, allied lands, please. Do have more troops here. I don't want like uh, too many gunners uh, uh, with a bad ratio to commandos. I still want, oh my goodness, is China and Germany allied? Maybe that's why they've been acting so weird. We are in seventh place, so that was kind of worth it. Even though it doesn't look like much land, it did provide us a bit. Oh look, at, uh, Germany doesn't like us. Okay, so I'm, I'm sure it might just happen naturally, a war with Germany, which give us like a year or two. We could probably just go into it, but the thing is they have all those allies. If Germany declares war on us, well if we start invading their lands, that would be the issue. The AI won't like that. They're allies might come after me for that. Yeah, let's get more tanks and more rocket artillery, I guess, while we're at it. Just straight up dudes. We can get over a million men. We're probably going to do that. I think the AI knows how fast we can make troops, which is probably why they're not actually sending stuff at me. I think they're actually concerned about that. I'm just going to have a fat division sitting here. It's actually not that fat, but it's going to get there. Ooh, are we killing... Oh, we're cool Turkey. Are we killing Iran? Taking up some land in the Middle East is probably the way to go. This is just Turkey going there. We technically... Oh, maybe I should go after Azerbaijan. Is Azerbaijan allied to anybody? Oh, Oh, I might just go ahead and do that just to give us I do have Central Asia. I'm just gonna kill Azerbaijan. Screw it. I'm sorry I mean, we're already at war with everybody as long as you guys aren't allied to hold on Let me make sure you're not allied to anyone e Mongolia, but that's okay. Mongolia and another Central American nation. That's fine. Let me just kill you real quick Indonesia's declared war on us. Okay, that was fast. Mongolia shouldn't have pretty much anything, right? I mean, they don't have a lot. I really don't even want Mongolia. That would be kind of a waste But okay, if Turkey eliminates that force. Oh, they might get stack wiped. I think it's time we attack Turkey. And then the Americans are in. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure we're already at war with Iran, but I can't tell. That color's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, we were. Okay, good. Let's just get all this. Yeah, America's dream. Taking out Iran. They're loving this. I don't know much. Where is the economic power out of Iran? It's definitely their capital, obviously. So, let's go get that. Let's get that. Please go take that. Don't go that. Oh, the freaking mountains. Yeah, get that before anyone else takes that. There we go. They're moving it, but it's fine. There we go. Okay, yeah. And I guess that's fine. We can go this way. United States has declared war on South Korea. So a lot of weird things are happening, but the starting part of Europe is not fun because of the alliances. You only have a couple options to go to war with people. But that's the thing that's keeping us safe is I still have so many friends back in the continent that I think that's the only reason why the U.S. hasn't declared war on me or some of the bigger power. I mean, obviously China has, but let's take all this. How's this division doing? Oh, that's a nice solid division. What do we got back at home? We don't have anything building back at home. Let's continue to go back towards a million. Or dang, we could just get two commandos, half a million commandos almost. I don't think the Iranians have any anything else left. Are we at war with these guys technically? Uh, I think we're supposed to be because they were allied. Oh no, we're not. And they probably have nothing. Wait a second. They have a lot. How is Kyrgyzstan so strong? I don't know how that happened. Okay, so uh, Iran has been eliminated. Do we want to go take out Mongolia? I guess. As we wait for the half a million troops to come out over here and then I guess I'll give them like 2,000 tanks. We have now entered into these. Oh, we're still in seventh place. Well, we're really not getting, and Mongolia is not going to provide us anything new. Mexico is finally starting to fall. A lot of people are going after Mexico, even the U.S., but the U.S. hasn't taken them out yet. All right, where's the good stuff? Where is the good stuff out of Mongolia? I guess we'll just take it all. It doesn't matter. Where's that big Mongolian force? Okay, did we just did we just stack wipe them? Nice. And we need to be careful by doing this because we will be getting really close to... Oh, okay. Yeah, let's not engage with the Chinese, please. Watch this very closely. Don't shoot at the Chinese. Don't enter Chinese territory. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Okay, what do we want to do now? Let's just go back home, please. I like how the Chinese just used us like that. Okay, we'll go back this way. I want to keep making sure that we get planes just because I never get planes. Might as well build like 200 planes. This half a million men. Wow, we're scary. We don't have a whole lot of economic power, but in terms of military, oh, we suck too. We're, we're ninth. Never mind. I was way more confident. Now, who are some of the other nations we're at war? We're at war Saudi Arabia. I can probably try to steal this away from China, but that's going to cause, that's a bad idea. I could try to kill Pak. Oh, that's Saudi Arabia. Kyrgyzstan's too powerful. I could maybe go eliminate Serbia, which I don't know if people would care about that. Serbia, who also has a boss. Oh, I don't think I can because they don't have any coastline, do they? Yeah, we can. That's why it's so impossible. Okay, they're gonna have to expand more before we can all kill Serbia. What are you doing, France? Are you going after China? I hope so. I think we can go. Oh, Brazil's about to take over. Oh, there's the collapse of the Koreans. Holy crap. I think that's what the French wanted. Maybe we're going after Egypt now. I mean, I'll go after Egypt. Let's get the Nile. The Egyptians have... Oh, wait. We're at, we're at war. I think we could be accidentally at war with the Arab League after this, but that's fine. There is a lot of economic power, which is what we really need right now in, obviously, the Middle East. Uh, Stray declared war. Oh, boy. I thought I was already at war. Egypt. I think I was, but oh, Israel. Crap. What does Israel have? They don't have much. Well, we're getting some good stuff from Egypt. I will say that. Sedan's declared war on us. We still have more things 
back at home. Let's yeah, let's start recruiting more here because clearly this is getting crazy. Holy crap. Okay, well, this is a big force and we got all the good stuff up here. We at least got all their population. The Nile. Give me the Nile. And then I will go after Israel too because why not? Israel pretty much shield himself. I guess we'll finish off uh, Egypt. We have the Suez. That should give us some more economic power. Did I kill Libya? Okay, maybe I will just take out Libya since the Italians are trying to steal all that stuff from me. Can you chill out, Saudi Arabia? Or not Saudi Arabia. Israel? I don't know. Whatever your name is. Oh, here come the Australians. Why are the Australians having a problem with me? I guess we'll fight you, but or maybe we just let Libya fall. I mean, maybe we shouldn't engage. Ooh, they hurt us pretty bad. Okay, what is this? Um, yeah, go ahead and attack Israel. There's gonna be people mad at- Okay, so we still have a lot of background. Okay, I'm just gonna meet this guy here, and then we'll meet right here attacking Israel. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, there's peasants. Okay, nice. What is that? Oh, uh, okay. There's just pe- Okay, we should be able to do this pretty- Okay, nice. Whew. Oh my goodness. They took out a lot- Oh, wait, no, no. That's- Okay, it's not too bad, but we need to keep building. Kyrgyzstan's gonna be kind of a problem, because these guys got a lot. I don't know how they got that much. And we still suck as Poland. Are we dropping? Oh, no, we're six. Okay, my bad. United States is declare war. Ooh. Okay, we want to watch this. Good thing we're already here in the Middle East. I do want this. Okay, yeah, hopefully you can kill all those troops. They did, and they've got nothing. All right. Well, we're going in. Where are you coming from? Okay, you're coming. Where is that good old Saudi oil money at? Okay, well, we're going after it. Ger oh, crap. Here we go. This is it. Germany's just declared war on me. It is happening. We need- I'm gonna keep those guys right there. I don't- I think we should even maybe think about pulling back out of Saudi Arabia. This doesn't really matter. If we take Germany, it's over. Well, it's not over, but that's where we're gonna get a majority of our power. We might just retreat here. What is this? 55,000. Do we- can we even fight Germany right now? They're actually not that strong. Maybe I will distract them here. Come up here. Come up here and defend. Nice. What is this? That is 73,000 troops versus my hundred thousand. I don't know. Oh, wow. We eliminated them so easily. Okay. There's a lot of movement. Okay. Is there more people at war with me than I'm thinking? It's just Germany so far. Okay. I would just like to get to that capital right there. And then I will focus on Germany, I guess. I mean, get some more gunners. We have things defending Poland back, defending Warsaw. The U.S. definitely could go to war with me at any moment. Okay. What is this? The good thing is that we're chopping away at that German military. So they, by the time we actually go in, oh man, the problem is that all the good stuff in Germany is on the Western side and we border the eastern side, obviously. So we're going to get deep in there. What, what is this? Yeah, we want that. We just want that. Oh, do they also have Qatar? Oh, they do have Qatar. We need that. What is this? 22,000? Oh, man. Here come the Chinese. I'm just going to keep on doing this. Yep, the Chinese are gonna, of course going to take Qatar. Stay away from the Chinese. Stay away from the Chinese, please. I'm just going to hopefully just sit there. Um, we're going to also do another 80,000, 280,000. Don't, don't engage. Damn. Okay. Okay, well, we got a good amount of this as, wow, they're getting collapsed all in on. Hopefully Ethiopia doesn't actually send anything over. Ethiopia at war China too. The Chinese are running away. That's kind of funny. Yeah, the Ethiopia. Okay, good. Chinese actually saved us there. So what is this? That's 55 thousand. We can definitely take on Germany. That will be the final blow though. The U.S. will kill us. The U.S. will not like us for that. Okay, I'll take just this. We have two. Okay, as soon as this is done, we're doing it. Bam. Okay, we got it. All right, we're ready. Let's take Berlin. Here we go. That was fast. Okay, what did you have stationed here? Only 12,000. Not bad. Holy crap. What the hell? What did Germany have? We got no troops. That's not good. Why did they take us out so fast instantly? That was like 12,000. What does China have? Okay, I've got no troops. This is very scary. I see that they're stationed in Berlin again. Okay, a thousand tanks. Let's just get some stuff out here, please. Germany's moving forces around. They have a hundred thousand. That could be, I don't know, whatever we fought. I don't want to fight that again, though. I'm just gonna wait till we get these last remaining things. The good thing about this stuff is we can get it out fast. U.S. and Chinese forces are still engaging. Good. Kind of scared. Oh, crap. Yeah, they have everything just in Berlin right now. Ukraine's declared war in Germany. That is good, I guess. Albania's declared war in Germany, but are you gonna actually fight them? People are doing diplomatic moves, but it's nothing real yet. Okay, they're moving. Um, Let's take this a little bit slower now, shall we? That was still really fast, okay. Let's not lose everything. Is that possible? Oh crap, oh crap. If I actually watch it, will I be able to not lose everything? Okay, we did not- Okay, Finland's declared war on us. How much does Finland have? Finland's gonna be annoying. Don't die, don't die. Oh crap, here come the German populace. I have more troops coming. We are still doing good. We should be able to fight this. As long as there's not- Oh, they... oh here come the Finns again. Don't want to fight the Finns, but luckily we're not in the snow. And hopefully they don't have too many snipers. Alright, well this is good. This 
this is good. Are the Finns out of troops yet? Come on now. We still have a good amount of stuff. Here we go. Here's the juicy stuff inside of Germany. This is where all their people really are. This is all where their economic development is. Finland, just stop. Just stop, bro. Is, are we down to under 100,000? Yeah, but we should be able to reinforce soon. And then we'll get like a couple of tanks. Is this it? Oh, we need to at least get Frankfurt. Let's get Frankfurt and then we'll be good. Oh, yeah. They keep sending stuff over at us and that's, that's bleeding us. We should be able to handle that as long as we're not fighting peasants at the same time and Finns. Dang, Finns and Germans on the same side again. All right, all right. Just need, we just need those 281,000 troops because we're about to get stack wiped. There it is. At least they stopped sending stuff at us. Oh my gosh, these recruits, they take so long. Damn, okay, that should be enough. Taking this with like 400 dudes. Oh my goodness. Well, I've immediately jumped into third place and it's literally all because of Germany, but also Switzerland and Austria are going to help out a lot. Nice. Now we just take this. I don't know if Germany has anything else around the world. And boom, cool. Oh, they do. They have this piece. I'll take that. So surprised the US has not declared war on us yet. If we kill China, we win, I think. Also getting all this random stuff. <laughs> Finland is still chasing us down. They are literally still chasing us down here. Oh, we just died. No troops. But I'm allied to still most of Europe. We took out our, pretty much our only non-ally that was here. 5,000 tanks? That's a crazy amount of tanks. Okay. 1,000 rocket artillery. I'm gonna literally sit here and do nothing. I mean, we just have to do nothing now. We do nothing. We build up our military. We go attack China. And that's it. Dang, China's got 18,000 tanks. That is a scary amount of tanks. I can, I mean, I can get close to that, but I'm, it's still far away. It's so many men to recruit from. It's crazy. We'd probably go after, there's like a lot of little things I could do, but I don't think it's really worth it. We kind of got everything that we need. We just need China, honestly. And actually China's about to catch up to, to the US. So the US is going to, we could probably equally go after, I wonder how big the US is. The US is maybe technically easier to attack. I've never done that in this game. That sucks that Lithuania still has so many friends. Oh, but we're not at war with the US. I don't think I want to open up that can of worms yet. Yeah, we're going to go very slowly and I'm just going to go straight for their coastline. That's really the only thing we can hope for. Now let's see if the Chinese actually send stuff at us. They've got 3.8 million gunners. I might just literally back away once they actually come at us. Oh crap, what is that? Okay, that's literally their entire force. But when we do that, we might actually see the Americans come finally attack. Okay, they literally wiped us out instantly. And now they are a lot weaker though. Everyone is mobilized now. I think everyone's going after China now. Or maybe everyone's going after us. I don't know. Holy crap. Yeah, China's going to try to take my Indian stuff. I did weaken them a lot by doing that. Oh man, they're still up there though. Still really high up there. How many men can I just mass spam like this. That's crazy. Come on, guys. Just just go fight China. If I just keep kamikazing myself, is that will that be enough? That's probably what I'm going to have to do. And then everyone's going to jump in after them. Is the Americans going after China now? I'm going to just get all this stuff out. All right, let's do it. Let's do it again. They, I don't know where their guys are at. We're going to fight another. We're going to get stack wiped again. But I'm hoping the AI actually just like opens up the floodgates. Here we go. Mm, we, could, we could beat that. If they send stuff out at us like that separately, then that's going to be huge. How much did we just take them out by. They still have so many gunners. Hey, we're gonna get stack wiped now, but gonna kill a lot of them. We are gonna oof a lot of the Chinese here. Okay. Okay, come on. That's gotta be it. The AI has to go crazy. Where are the mobilizations at? I don't know if the really the planes have been doing much at all. Yeah, they just take their stuff back, honestly. This might be a 1984 world. Let's see AIs actually do something. I think, unfortunately, we found ourselves... Actually, this is pretty much a 1984 world because I'm like the Russia, China's the China, and then the US is the, well, the British kind of going after them. They don't want to do it. I think it's a little bit too late because China is too powerful at this point. Yeah, they're building things just as fast as I'm building things. That's the issue. Let's try it one more time. I mean, I don't know. We pretty much get stack wiped. Unless the Americans start attacking when I'm attacking, like we're literally just in 1984 and we're kind of just stuck in a, I mean, I could try to eat up things around, but there's honestly not that much stuff left. I would need to really kill everybody else and try to get as much power as possible. But man, I'm like solidly behind Poland. Or, I am Poland, my bad. <laughs> I'm like solely behind China and America. Those are the first two spots. But, I would say this is arguably the second or first best performance I've done in this game, so I'll take that. And big thanks to my patrons this month. Drew, je suis ton père de retour avec le lait, regarde de Douchebag. Amateur archaeology. Norwalk. Carmel S. Connor Pavlik. Ich kann ohne Dress Stimme nicht schlafen. Henry Headlock. Inquisitor Series. Megan Underwood. John Kansas. Kansas. Kirin. Wasn't Benjamin. Girl. Savvy. If you the Mexicans, 760. 